everyone! I know you guys normally love my best and worst of latest launches video but I thought seeing as I did like a whole blog post all about the recent launches that were a bit disappointing that I would just do my top five current makeup new launches video. I need to think of a less long title to actually put in the title of this video but this is a collab with my friend Rachel. She has a YouTube channel called Rach Loves. I'm gonna leave the link to her channel below. We've collaborated together. She's also gonna do her top five new launches video and she has some really good stuff in her video so make sure you head on over to her channel watch her top five new launches as well the link will be in the information box without further ado I'm gonna tell you guys about product number one should we start with palettes because palettes are my BFFs if you guys watch my channel around last summer there was a collection little mix collaboration eye palette and I fell in love with it it came around with me everywhere the whole summer and they have brought out three new ones. These are the Eyes Undiscovered palettes. There's a nude grey, a nude bronze and a nude palette. I'm gonna start with the nude one. This is my least favourite of the bunch. It's like kind of a bit the most boring. You have a nice bony colour, some nice champagne colours and then more bronzy brownie colours. This one's my favourite. It's the nude grey palette. I have some of these shades on my eyes today. I love the golden taupey shimmers. I love the matte black and you have a little nice brow bone highlight in there as well. And then the third one is the most shimmery of the bunch. It's the nude bronze palette. You only have one matte shade in this palette and the rest, as the name would suggest, are nudey bronzy colours. The shimmers are really nice. They really remind me of the Urban Decay eyeshadows. Like, they just have a nice sheen to them. They're nothing really too glittery. They don't have a thick shimmer pigmentation in them. These palettes are around five pounds. They're amazing, amazing quality, especially for the price. The eyeshadows remind me of Urban Decay. They're so buttery so pigmented like really just nice smooth even eyeshadows I think if I was gonna buy one I would buy the nude grey palette seriously guys like cannot get enough of these moving on to something from benefit I didn't think I would love but I did this was their latest launch it's their roller lash mascara the packaging is really cute first of all I don't know why it kind of just reminds me of like candy the brush is so weird it's not my usual brush shape at all First of all, it's plastic applicator and the bristles on the brush are so, so short. They're really closely packed together and they're really thin as well. The more you build this up, the most amazing, like spidery, long, not clumpy lashes you get at all. For getting like length and definition, this is the best mascara I've ever tried. You don't get too much volume, but I do curl my lashes normally anyways. What else do I have to show you, to show you, to show you? I'm a foundation whore in general, but do your foundations I always love and I always like make an effort to try them because I normally think they're pretty good. These are two foundation formulas that I'm not really too keen on. The first one is a serum foundation. I normally find serum foundations way too liquidy for me. Foundations like the Giorgio Armani Maestro, the YSL Fusion Foundation and the L'Oreal Nude Magic Liquid to Powder Foundation as well. This is kind of in that family. It's like a really light, super, super watery foundation. This is their Nude Air Foundation foundation. You do have to shake it up quite a bit. It comes out this little pipette here and you just kind of like dot a couple of drops around your face. I do like one on my forehead, one on my cheek, one on my nose and then like one here. Of these kind of formulas you're definitely going to get a light to medium coverage at best with this but the formula is the best out of the serum foundations that I've tried. It doesn't cling on to dry patches, it doesn't dehydrate my skin. If you have oily skin I would recommend staying away from this because it does kind of disappear quite easily on the skin. If you have normal to combination I think you'd really like this if you're looking for a really lightweight, light to medium coverage foundation. And the other one that I didn't think I would like is the loose powder foundation. Now, I'm not a loose powder foundation person. Like, I find them so confusing and like really faffy. I've never fallen like head over heels in love with the powder foundation. But this one is so good. It's really, really lightweight. It's really easy to blend into the skin and it looks really natural, it doesn't look too flat on the skin either. I do like to set this foundation with the matching powder, especially down my T-zone, but on its own it does look really lovely, it does give a light to medium coverage, again these are like two foundations for super super light coverage, but it is buildable and lasts a seriously long time on the skin. It's a tower of blushes! <laughs> Oh, so mature, so mature. Sticking on the whole base theme, you guys know I'm obsessed with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes, the Milani Baked Blushes, the MAC Mineralized Blushes, basically any baked blushes. So I was so happy to see that Max Factor launched these. They are called the Cream Puff Blush. I have so many shades that 
all like so gorgeous. I love them. There's an amazing range of shades in these as well. I think everyone would find a shade that they really like. There's like more mauvey, purpley kind of colors. There's purpley pinks, there's peaches. The reason I love baked blushes so much is I find that they look so natural on the skin. They really add that like something something to the cheeks where you can't really detect it looks like a fat flat <laughs> fat powder blush a flat matte powder blush another reason is that they add like a little bit of a highlighting effect so they do add a really nice lift and glow to the cheeks and these definitely have that as well i would say my favorite shade is where are you this one here this is the shade Lovely Pink. It's definitely my favorite. It's the most peachy pink with a kind of golden shimmer in it. That's my typical like favorite blush shade. I mentioned these on my blog as like my if you buy one thing this month product. Now these are so special because they seem boring but honestly like once you have them in your life you're like I just can't go without you. Like no one is gonna not love these from like your grandma who doesn't wear any makeup to like your 11 year old cousin. <laughs> That's just like in my life like everyone I've shown these to has fallen in love with them even if you're not like a makeup addict at all they're from Clarins and they're the instant light natural lip perfector I love the original natural lip perfectors but now they come in balm form they don't add anything like miraculous but they add a nice kind of like glossy sheen they're so hydrating they smell so good they're like addictive to apply and they just leave you with a nice bit of color on your lips at the same time my favorite shade is this one this is the shade 01 i think this is my favorite shade of the lip gloss form of these as well i could honestly smell them all day they smell like sweets you guys know i am a contouring kind of gal i love a bit of cheekbone definition and I wasn't as obsessed with the Anastasia palette as I thought I would be, even though I did think it was really good. There wasn't something that was like, oh my god, this is a must buy now. I definitely preferred my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow over it. But when I saw that this came out, it was definitely like an alternative for the Anastasia palette. It is the Barry M Flawless. I woke up like this. Chisel. <laughs> Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit. It only has three shades. I know the Anastasia palette has six. They're all matte, but I think they've picked the best three shades of the bunch. You basically have like a banana colored vanilla powder just to highlight and for under eye setting and everything. It has more of a sheen than the Anastasia one does, but isn't as highlightery as something like the Charlotte Tilbury one. And then you also have two bronzy shades. You have a really cool toned color that adds that kind of like really shadow like definition. And then you have more of a warm toned color to bronze up the face a little bit. Yes, guys, this is definitely the best drugstore contour kit I have found. So that is everything for my top five launches. I don't know why I'm just like swinging my arms about in the air all the time these days but anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed it definitely go and check out my friend Rachel's channel I will leave it in the information box below as well as the link to her top five new makeup launches sneak peek I do know her top five makeup picks so they are all really really good you guys need to go and watch that video don't forget to subscribe to her as well and tell her I say hello in the comments in case you want to keep up with me I have Twitter and Instagram and snapchat all of which I will link in the information box below as well as my blog where I post daily. I'm gonna go and eat something because I'm about to get hangry and I will see you guys soon. Bye! So many of you guys requested a whole luxury related video. This video is my top 10 luxury favorites. We have a bit of fashion, a bit of beauty, a bit of jewelry. It's raining. The hair is frizzing. The hair is frizzing. The hair <laughs> my hair's not frizzing. My hair's not frizzing. I'm really happy for you about that. Anyway, let's go this way.